Hi, I'm Bridget with PotomacBeads.com. Join me today in creating this elegant trellis bracelet. If you do need any of the materials, they are listed at the beginning of the video as well as below me in the description area, you'll find a full list of materials as well as links to both PotomacBeads.com and PotomacBeads.eu. So gather up your materials and come create with me. So to start our trellis bracelet, I have about a wingspan worth of thread and I am using two needles. And I'm gonna start by picking up five of my 11s and then going through my first Wibe Duo with both needles. I will pull that down and you'll see that the 11s kind of um, nicely curve around that first little tip there. And from here, we're gonna pick up one 11 with both needles and we're gonna go through with our right needle, we're gonna go through our Wibe Duo in kind of that left hand inner hole. And with our left needle, we're gonna go through the right inner hole. So you can see, I'll lay these down so you can kind of see what you'll be wanting it to look like. So going through the inner holes of both of those vibe duos. And from there, we'll pull those down. And you'll see that it's gonna start kind of resembling a diamond. So from here, we're gonna again pick up one needle with, or one bead with both needles. So 111 on my right and 111 on my left. And then now we're gonna go through the same Wibe Duo. So just like the very first bead that we started with, we're gonna go through the same one. And so now we're starting to get our diamond. So on our next time, we're gonna pick up two Wibe Duos. So we're gonna go through first with an 11 on my right and on my left. And then again, with my right needle, I'm gonna go through that inner left hand hole on my Wibe Duo. Oops. If it doesn't jump away from me. And then with my left, I'm gonna go through that right side inner hole of the Wibe Duo. And again, you'll see that those kind of fall nicely into that diagonal or that diamond pattern. So here again, we'll continue the pattern. So we'll pick up one 11 with both. And now we're gonna go through the same Wibe Duo. And pull that down right into the same pattern. And again, now we're gonna do two. So pick up an 11 and then go through that inner hole of your Wibe Duo. And let those fall. So we'll just continue this pattern going one, two, one, two until we get the desired length of your bracelet. So just keep going with, and making sure you remember to go through the inner holes when you're doing the two wide duos. So now that I am at my desired length, which is just about six inches, using my right needle, I'm going to pick up four of my 11s. And once you get to your length, you wanna make sure that you are coming out of a single bead here. And so once I have my 11s on there, and I'm sorry, it's actually five 11s, I'm gonna now pick up my second needle and go through those five 11s that I just added on. So you should be coming out of either end of those 11s. And from here, 
I'm gonna pick up my next needle. I'm gonna add two of my 11s, and then I also have my two millimeter crystals. So after picking up two 11s, I'm gonna pick up one of my crystals, and then two more 11s. And from here, I'm gonna go through that outer hole of my wipe duo. So it'll frame just that kind of end there. And I'll do the same with my second needle. So picking up two 11s, one of my two millimeter rounds, and then two more 11s, and going through that outer hole of my wipe duo and pulling that. And you can kind of pull um, on your thread here just to make sure that it is kind of nice and tight around that point there. Now I'm gonna start working on either side. So I have my left needle here. So I'm gonna put this one kind of out of the way for right now. And I have my 11s and my wipe duos and I'm gonna pick up one 11, one wipe duo through the inner hole and then going through the outer hole of that next wipe duo. So we're adding on one more row here. So I'm coming out of the outer hole of this wipe duo, picking up an 11 and then going through the inner hole of my additional wipe duo picking up an 11 and going through my next wipe duo. So I'm gonna do this all the way up to the end of my bracelet. And I'm also gonna do it on the opposite side. So we'll do the exact same thing, picking up an 11, going through the inner hole and going through that outer hole of the existing wipe duo. Just pulling that through. So we're adding on our last row on either side of our bracelet up until the end and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So now that I have my last row of wipe duos on and I'm coming out of that outer hole in this wipe duo, I'm gonna add my one 11 and one of my two millimeter rounds and then two of my 11s. And I'm gonna go through these five 11s that are already on my bracelet. And I'll do the same to the opposite side. So I'm gonna add two of my 11s, one of my two millimeter rounds, and then one more 11. And I'm just gonna let those kind of be loose for the time being. And I'm gonna pick up my second needle. So here I'm coming out of this wide duo on the opposite side and I'm gonna go up through my 11 and my two millimeter rounds all the way around to my opposite side here. So picking up those 11, two millimeter and then all the way around through my other 11s and then down the opposite side as well. And from here, let me lay this out so you can see. I'm gonna pick up four of my 11s. Okay, there we go. So one, two, three, four. 
and I'm going to go through my outer hole of that first wipe duo on the outside row. Just like that. And I'll do that on the other side as well. So picking up my second needle and picking up four 11s and going through that outer hole of that wide duo. So it should look like this with your 11s kind of framing around that tip of our bracelet. So from here, I have my Potomac Crystal Bicones, and I'm still going to be using my 11s. I'm just going to pick up one 11, one bicone, and a second 11, and just going through all of those outside holes of the Wide Duo. So again, one 11, one bicone, one 11 through the outside hole of my wide duo. So you're just filling in that empty space between each wide duo. And we'll do this on the opposite side as well. So I'm gonna keep going until I reach the end of my bracelet. So after adding on all of my bicones to either side here, I'm coming out of this wide duo on the side and I'm gonna add four of my 11s and going through my 11 and my two millimeter round up until I get to the point. So I'm not gonna go through my fifth um, point here with my 11 -0. So picking up my second needle, again, I'm gonna pick up four of my 11s and going through my 11 and my two millimeter round up until the point up here. Okay, so here I'm gonna add on a wire guard so that I can add on my clasp. So, now I'm gonna go through, so you can see that one 11 that we kind of left out. I'm gonna go through that now and then through the opposite way with my second needle. And then with both needles, I'm gonna go through one of my two millimeter rounds. So both needles and thread should be coming out of that same two millimeter. And now going through my wire guard with one side of my needle. I'm now gonna add on my clasp. So I'm gonna go through, make sure that it's not gonna be upside down. So go through my clasp and through my wire guard. Now I'm gonna put that needle down and pick up my second needle and do the same thing going in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go through my wire guard and don't worry about um, making it super tight yet. I'll do that once I go through all the way around. And now going through my clasp and down through the opposite side of my wire guard. 
And now you can kind of pull on both sides of your thread and also just pinch that wire guard so that it is kind of closing in on itself like that. And then with both needles, I'm gonna go back down through my two millimeter round. And here I wanna make sure to pull that nice and tight. And I'm gonna turn my bracelet upside down and tie off my ends. And then here we can burn down our thread. Okay. And then I'm, I'm now going to put the wire guard on my opposite side. Okay, so I'm still gonna be using two needles and I'm going through that um, kind of 11 -0 right at the tip. And I'm gonna pick up my wire guard and one more of my 15 or my two millimeter rounds. So using both needles, I'm gonna go through my two millimeter round here. And then go through our wire guard. And then adding on our second half of our clasp. And going down through our two millimeter round. And now using our second needle, we'll do the same going in the opposite direction can now go ahead and tie these off. And burn down the edges. And then our trellis bracelet is complete. And there we have it. So thank you for joining me in creating this trellis bracelet. Remember, if you do need any of the materials, they were listed at the beginning of the video, as well as below me in the description area, you'll find a full list of materials, as well as links to both potomacbeads.com and potomacbeads.eu. So remember, uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And as always, we love to hear from you. So I'd love to see how this design helped inspire your own. So until next time.